Hello love bugs, welcome back to Jessica's Coloring Corner. I know it's been a long, long time since I've done a video of any sort and I, for that I apologize. There's just been a lot going on. Um, my grandmother, or nanny, as all of you know that I called her, is still in the hospital. She's now in a long-term acute care facility and she's actually been off of the ventilator for almost two weeks now. So that is very, very good. So she's doing a lot better. She's just kind of really weak still and they want her to be a lot stronger before they'll send her home. So been really worried about her and going to see her a lot. Uh, she's in Oklahoma City, which is about a little over an hour away from me. So we go there about once, twice a week to see her. And so, but she is getting, getting better. It's just gonna be a long recovery road. Um, I'm going to do a diamond painting today and I think after I show you how I put my beads and stuff, um, I'll probably just do this as a speed diamond paint, but I just wanted to kind of let you know what I am, um, been up to a little quick update before I do that. So, um, I bought these little containers here at the Dollar Tree and I got them labeled with letters because some of my diamond paintings have letters and the others have numbers so I've done that and I also have little square ones too because I needed more and couldn't find any of the circle ones so I got some little square ones and I keep them in this little pink basket if you can see that I got that at the Dollar Tree as well so I keep all of these in there and when I have extras I'm not trying to sort them out or keep all the extra little beads and I got this idea from Miss Ann, but I put them in my little snowman jar. So there's like all the extra diamond bits in there. So I've really been doing a lot of diamond painting lately. It's just kind of calming and relaxing for me. And I've finished, let's see, I've got some trees, a unicorn, a kitty, and a French bulldog. Those are the four that I've done. And uh, this one here, if I move the drills, you can see it is a beach scene and my fairy godmother sent this to me it's one of four that come in a pack so this is the summer one and the other is fall spring and winter so i'm going to be doing those as well but i'm going to do this one to hang up in my bathroom because my bathroom's done all in mermaids and sea things so this will be perfect to go in my bathroom when i'm done it is a 40 by 30 centimeter and it's by Center and Direct, and I believe she just uh, got these on Amazon. So, yeah. So these are the the drills, pretty colors. And there's 20 colors for this one. So here's all of the drills. So all I'm gonna do is get my little pots here ready and uh, get the beads dumped, and then we'll start our diamond painting. So I'm just gonna start with number one and. There's our number one, so that's what I'm doing. Um, also, besides just um, my nanny still being in the hospital and that um, recently, uh, about three, four weeks ago, my husband lost his job. So um, we're kind of been in a pickle. There's some garbage drills in there. Just pull them out. We've kind of been in a little bit of a pickle. I don't keep the the codes or none of that because this is number one so I know it's number one and um, so he's been applying everywhere trying to get another job and really I've just been trying to keep my head above water because it just seems like every time I turn around there's something else you know going on and it's just been it's been just pretty crappy to be honest with you everything's just kind of been going on and there's other things that I don't feel like discussing that's also happened and it's just been it's been a mess lately so this is number two it's pretty rosy dusty rose color here you see so that is what has been going on with us uh, he's and he got I got him signed up on unemployment we got a letter Friday they denied his unemployment so so yeah that was kind of a another blow to us and um, anyway so I'm just gonna cut these packets in half so it's easier for me to just 
open them up. So like I said, I've just try, been trying to keep positive about things and it's just been one catastrophe after another. And I not normally pretty, neg I'm not a negative person, but I've just been feeling a little down, a little defeated lately, trying to figure out what we're gonna do. So uh, it's just, it's been hard, you know? And I just haven't really felt like making videos, but I really wanted to make one and I didn't, I haven't been in a coloring mood. I'm trying to get back into it. I'm trying to color a little bit, but mostly I've been playing video games and doing a lot of the diamond paintings because I just, I've really enjoyed doing these. And I thought I'd do one on camera today because I wanted to, so I finished my French Bulldog yesterday. So I thought I would start this one today. Okay, now that I got all those, that'll be easier. And then like this is number five, so that's that one. So this, I found this little system is just easy for me and it works pretty well. I like these little containers. I haven't run into the problem where I've needed any more um, beads. I always have a whole lot extra, so I just, I don't bother with the the whatever you call these codes, the DMC codes or whatever they are. Um, I just don't bother with it. I mean, I've got a little bundle over here going right now. So, let's see, number three, should be C. So this is how I set my little diamond painting area up. And the big ones I do on my lap in the living room. The smaller ones I come in here and do them on my desk or in the living room, it depends where I want to be. It's a lot cooler in the computer room where I'm at right now, so I'm glad that this one's a little bit smaller and that I can do it in here, because it's hot in the living room. It's been hot, hot, hot here lately. Not a fan of the heat, as you guys know. Just not a fan. And it's been in the hundreds and really humid. Just, it's been nasty hot. Nasty, nasty hot. So this is the coolest room in the house, usually. So you might hear air conditioner running right now. You'll probably hear the fan blowing right now. So I've got all of the, the cool stuff going on me. Husband's in the living room with the pups at the moment. Let's see, what am I looking for? That's number 10, number 10 is J. And we have a rogue green one from the last diamond painting I've done. At the end of this month, I'll show my uh, finished colored pictures. I only had three last month, so that's why I didn't do a video this month. And I'll show uh, the diamond paintings that I've completed. Uh, I'll have to show a picture of the cat because I gave that one to my Aunt Rhonda, but it turned out like super cute. But if you follow me on Instagram and Facebook, I've got them posted on my face, personal Facebook, and I've got them posted on Instagram, all of the diamond paintings I've done. And the links for those things are down in the description if you wish to follow me on Instagram or, or a friend request me on Facebook. It's totally okay. Um, number eight, so the bright, pretty orange ones. So, how are all of you doing? I hope you've been doing well and have been having a lot better, a uh, better few months than me. <laughs> um, like I said, I'm just trying to keep my head up because really that's all you can do, right? I hope everyone is doing well health-wise and that um, you are staying nice and cool in this brutal summer. There are a lot of people's been having a real pretty brutal summer, so all I want to do is go swimming. That's what I want to do. So that I can go swimming for free. So I can pack me a sandwich and head to the lake and stay in the water and turn into a lobster. Because that is the life right now. Let's see. 15. So, so I think this is going to be really pretty when it's done. And it's going to look amazing in my bathroom with all of my mermaid and sea stuff. funny I start didn't have any mermaid things and then all of a sudden I've got all kinds of things in my bathroom for mermaids so that came along really quick because everywhere I looked there was mermaid stuff so that was genius 
gonna be a lot of blues and browns in this picture. Oop. Now this, like I said, this diamond painting has 20 colors. And I spilled some. Of course I did. When I do the bigger ones in the living room, I take my uh, big cutting board, like my wood cutting board, and I lay it across my lap and put the uh, canvas on it and just sit on the couch and watch TV or watch YouTube videos and just diamond paint away. And I get them done pretty, pretty quick. Well, the tree one took me, how long did that take? Eight months to do, I think. But that wasn't like solid working on it because I like put it away for a while. It just wasn't, uh, I don't know, it kind of overwhelmed me at first because it was my very first one. I had got it for Christmas last year and it just kind of uh, overwhelmed me because it was pretty big and it was a lot of, a lot of work. There was probably a gajillion diamonds on it, but it wasn't even a full either. It was just a partial because the whole canvas wasn't covered. This one is a full. It's round drills, though it looks square. I was told that if you look closely, you can see little circles inside, and they're called dummy circles or something. I don't know. I don't know the diamond painting lingo, but uh, anyhow. <laughs> There's a pretty lavender for number 17. And then over here we got one through nine, and then we have A, X, N, M, E, B. I don't know why they just didn't keep like numbers for the whole thing, but you know, I don't know their rhyme or reason. So when I go to just the ones after um, number nine, like the colors 10 through 20 are all letters, so I'll have to really pay attention to the key over there. So how many of you like to diamond paint? How many of you haven't ever heard of diamond painting? And how many of you just like to watch diamond paintings but don't want to do them? That's totally okay too. And this may not be everybody's jam, but right now this is just what I'm feeling. So I decided I would do this. And I know it's kind of boring right now, me just dumping beads into the little pots, but it's okay because I'm trying still trying to decide right now if I'm going to speed it up after this and I think I will I just wanted to give you a little update on what's going on we got some rogue beads in here got a couple of blue ones so I keep all of my diamond painting stuff in this little box here that my aunt Rhonda got me it says sparkle and shine it's got mermaid scales on the side it says my heart belongs to the sea and it says mermaids right there and it's just a really cute little box. Um, you move this, I'll open it up and show you. And you just open it up like this. And then this is where I keep my little bags for stuff. There's the boats. I got some binder clips in here. Um, my wax is in here that's going all over the place. And then all of the pins and some teeny tiny bags. This is just things that come with the kit. And then I have a pair of tweezers which I use to get the diamonds apart. If they stick together, that irritates me, but I could kind of squeeze them and get them apart with this. And I have a Sharpie just to, in case I need it. So I was gonna get these to pick up those rogue diamonds out of that. They're kind of a, a bluey gray color. I don't know if I've dumped any of those yet. Yes, I have. So they're number one. So I'll just put those blue ones in there. Come out. I think there was only a couple, so that's not too bad. Yeah. Oh, there's another one. Come here. All right, and um, things that you might see while I diamond paint. Um, what I found that actually works, some people will go section by section and then work their way down. But what I have been doing typically is I'll get one color and go across the canvas with one color. It makes, I don't know, for me, I just like to do that better than doing a corner at a time. I do it with the big ones and the small ones. And for some reason, it just seems like it goes faster for me. Because 
it seems slower if I have every few bits I have to change colors and anyway I'm just kind of lazy and like to do things the faster way so yeah might as well be honest and transparent with you so we've got one two three six more one two three I got some empty ones over here I stacked I didn't mean to there we go I was like where's all my containers so yeah so if you diamond paint how do you typically like to diamond paint do you go by sections do you skip all over the place do you not really pay attention to how you're doing it? Let's see, 11. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, and I just wanted to give you a little update on why I haven't really been around. I'm still here, and if you're still with me, thank you very much. Um, gonna try and start doing a little bit more videos I have missed it and I hope that I'm just a little bit more in the right frame of mind if that makes sense I just really haven't felt like talking a lot you know just kind of just kind of been sad and just dealing with my emotions and um, I tend to do that alone a lot of the time so and I just haven't really felt like coloring and I haven't felt like talking a lot, but I'm feeling a little bit better. I'm just, you know, I'm still stressed with the, my husband trying to find a job and not knowing what we're gonna do. And But we are, we're making it, we're surviving, and we've got some really great friends and family out there that's been helping us. And uh, I've never asked for anything, and I don't ask for anything. It's just someone to vent to every once in a while is all. But, uh, so yeah, so we're, we'll get through this. I mean, we have to, we don't have a choice, right? We have to get through this, so. Just have had quite the storm lately. I am ready for some rainbows and butterflies and glitter and sparkle and just something a lot, you know, just something better. So good things should be coming, I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Okay, we've got one more color after this these and this has got a rope dark blue in there I'm just gonna leave it in there for now and then we have our last color here number 18 and then we can start into the painting so I might be doing a lot more of these on this channel just so you know and I don't want to be accused of being a coffee cat or anything like that but um, I have been doing these off camera, but I just wanted to do them on camera. Besides, we can all do what we want to do, right? Okay, so here is our canvas. Again, it's got the plastic on it. So I just kind of typically peel back a little bit and just pick a color like there's R. And... That is number 15, so that would be R. So I would go over here in my little deal. That'd be this, 15. Now this might get confusing because it'll say O and then 15, but over here it's like 15 and R. So I hope I don't get too confused while doing it. I'll have to pay attention. But let me grab this and uh, let's see. I'm gonna grab a wax. This is the same wax I've been using from the very first diamond painting I've done. So the wax does last a long time. I'm gonna grab a boat and I'm gonna grab my pen. I do have some, a pack of pens coming to me soon. Like it's all different tips. Can't wait to get those. Because the single doing these big, well like the big diamond paintings that I've done with the um, these little single tip ones has been taking forever and quite frankly getting on my nerves so uh, I've bought some multi drill tips they were very inexpensive so I'm just gonna clip these baggies together here so they're in one spot and now we can get started so I'll do a couple of things here just to show you in case you haven't ever seen diamond painting explaining what I'm doing so you can see that and then the rest of this will just be a speed paint. So I'm gonna take my 
fifteens, which is R, and I'm just going to dump all of those into the boat. Give this a little shaky shake. I don't know if you can see how sparkly those are, but just give it a little shake. And I probably put too many in here, but that's all right. That's just how I roll, so I don't have to keep dipping back in. And I will set these where they don't spill. Move this over some, and I'll zoom in so you can see perhaps this corner up here, right there. And I'm gonna peel back the plastic just a little bit, like that. You can either do it at an angle or over, but. And then I'll take my boat, take my pin. Um, if this is the first time using one of your diamond painting pins, you'll want to dip it into the plastic, so, or the, the wax and it's got little plastic on it and you just take this end and you press into that wax and that loads it up to pick up your little diamonds. And then you want to pick it up with the, the bumpy, you want the flat side down. So you'll do that, you'll pick it up on your pin. You can see, I don't know if you can see, but I've got that little diamond on the pin. And then we will just go to the R on our canvas, which is sticky and you will just pop that down like that. So and then you will just keep doing such, such things. Now I've never done one that looks square but was actually round, so this is the first time I've had one like this. And can you see that? I hope you can. Let me see, surely you can. Yeah, see right there like that. You can zoom in just a tad bit more. And diamond paintings look good from far away. Up close, sometimes they might not look like too much, but far away, they look pretty dang good. I don't know how this one's gonna look done, so we will find out. Let me peel that plastic back again. And I just kind of set my boat like right where I'm working so I can just pick and go. And I'm trying to make these as straight as possible. And that picked up another diamond there. Look at that. I don't have a light pad or anything like that. Um, I don't find that I typically need it, although it would probably work when it's too shiny for me to see. Hope you can see those but I have my little overhead light right now or my little desk lamp on when I do these in the living room during the daytime it's great because I've got the sunlight coming through the windows and it's easy to see but at night when I have my ceiling fan light on it's harder to see the darker spots because um, it kind of I don't know, it um, glared really bad. So, so that's, that's all there is to it, guys. If you haven't seen diamond painting and was curious, it's really all there is to it. You just pick up your diamonds and you get to town. So uh, from here on out, I'm going to finish off these little R's just right in here. And then I will turn the rest of what I decide, what I do today into a speed diamond paint. Maybe, I don't know, I'm kind of enjoying talking to you guys, so maybe I won't do that. Maybe I'll just talk to you, we'll have a chill time, and I'll just diamond paint away. That seems like something I kind of want to do instead of just sitting in here and quiet and doing a speed paint, I can talk to you. So let's do that. Um, if, I, if you don't like to watch this, you can just listen to me. You can color, you can clean, you can cook, you can do whatever it is that you'd like to do while I'm doing this and this when you reload this stuff of wax it kind of picks up more than one sometimes like that it's irritating that's a messy messy drill bit there Let's see. so I find that I have really just enjoyed doing these diamond paintings it's really been a joy for me to do these helps me uh, de-stress and I mean I still color I colored a, a mandala the other day out of square mandalas by um, 
creative haven so I mean and I'm working on a page out of Botanicum just slow I'm not really trying to rush and get a whole bunch done so it's just kind of slow going with that and I've been helping my husband look for jobs and helping him put in applications and you know just um, doing stuff like that and looking into options on what we can do to help ourselves in the meantime and you know just different stuff Hopefully you can still see what I'm doing. I don't even know. I hope. <laughs> so, yeah. I've got an ice cold Sprite sitting here. Well, it was ice cold. My ice melted. That's okay. I'm going to get a sip of my Sprite. And obviously I'm not gonna get this whole thing done today. There's just no way. Uh, these t uh, typically take me a couple of days to a couple of weeks to do, depending on how big they are. Uh, the only one that I finished in a day was the unicorn one that I done. It had special diamonds like the rhinestones. And those, I, that one, I, it just took me a couple hours to do. So that one wasn't too bad. This plastic bothers me. Stay. I'm just gonna kind of do that. I try not to get my hands all in the sticky part. See if you can see them diamonds. Just wanna make sure I'm still in frame for you. There we go. So, yeah. See, you got my hand in that sticky part, but this stuff's pretty sticky, I've noticed, so it's okay if you do. A couple of the diamond paintings that I got, I found at Walmart in the crafts section. The kitty cat one and the um, French bulldog I found all at Walmart. So just checking. Let's see if I start right here. I'm pointing to make sure that you can see. Ah, stupid hand. So this is how I do it. I just kind of cross country it, or uh, you know, just kind of go. Now see, all of these are ours like together. And that's where the multi tips would be really awesome to have. And I wish I had them now, but they should be in this week. And all it is is instead of having a single where you pick up one, you can pick up, I think three, six, and nine bits at a time. So that would really help with these. It's got like a whole bunch in one area instead of laying them down one by one. But since some people don't like the multi drill ends, so I guess it just depends. I may end up not liking them and just still do them single, but it's okay. It's so hot and I have fan and air blowing and it's just, it's just nasty hot. And I think it's supposed to be 98 99 today and then the next few days it's supposed to be in the hundreds and up well, i think tomorrow they're talking from 102 to 105 and it's supposed to be that way through the weekend i am not amused i am so ready for winter or even just fall really nice cool fall crisp mornings just uh so ready guys you don't even know see that one looks weird but I'm gonna leave it anyway so some of you might think this is like super tedious it is kind of like color by number of uh, the real teeny tiny color by number um, but I, I don't know something about this just really really relaxes me and I just really enjoy it um, I don't know. That's just something that I've really been enjoying lately. It's just been my jam. Sometimes I'll just put on music and listen to some music and diamond paint. Or like I said, watch YouTube or, um, 
whatever's on Hulu that I find. I've been watching a lot of Buffy and the Vampire Slayer lately, so I've been re-watching those. I used to love it when I was younger, and I'm refinding my love for it again as I'm older and actually understand what's going on, because I was, like, way young when that came out, so... <laughs> young and naive didn't know really what to what was going on but um yeah and don't worry if you're doing this and you stick one somewhere wrong you can you can peel that diamond up so no worries there just making sure you can still see what I'm doing even though it's probably not a whole lot you know it's not that uh, might not be that exciting. I don't know. I like to watch people diamond paint, but mostly I, I listen to them talk while they're diamond painting. I've watched Anne do a couple of hers, and I've, um, what is the one that I've been watching? I really like her. Um, diamond painting addict, preschool teacher, something like that. <laughs> uh, she's got a really long channel name, and it's like preschool teacher diamond painting addict, I think maybe. I don't know, but I joined her group on Facebook, and I like to watch her on YouTube when she uploads videos. So, if I can remember, I'll try and link her in the description if you'd like to maybe follow her. And Miss Ann from A Colorful Life. I've been watching a lot of you guys. Um, if you, I like your videos. I don't really comment much, but just know that I do watch you still, and I still support you if you're a YouTuber. Um, it's I just haven't been commenting because mostly I watch on the Xbox in the living room. I watch YouTube, and there's not a comment fe feature on there. I mean, I can uh, like it, but I can't comment. I'd have to get on my phone and do that. And sometimes I will on some, but mostly I just like your videos. So I'm just kind of a silent watcher as of late, but I am there. A lot of you probably don't do it like I do. You probably do just like sections at a time. And that's okay. But I like to go everywhere. Uh, my husband and I have been doing some puzzles at the kitchen table. We have been, um, we, well before he got fired, like uh, well before, we bought a pack of puzzles. It's got four, I think it's got four in it. It's Disney Thomas Kincaid puzzles. So we bought those and we finished one and we put um, Mod Podge on it to make it stick together. So we're going to get a frame and hang it up. It's really cute. It's Mickey and Minnie in Paris. It's like really adorable. And right now we're doing Mickey and Minnie on the beach. It's really pretty, really bright, really tropical. And you know, I'm about that life. So that's the one that I wanted to do. And I think there's... Um, Rapunzel, I want to say, and is it Pocahontas? I can't remember the other two, but they're going to be really pretty done. I want to do all of them and hang them, frame them and hang them up. I'll probably hang them in here in our, the art slash computer room. So that's probably where I'll put them. I did get a frame for my tree diamond painting. I've got it hanging in my bedroom. Uh, I've got to get a frame for the unicorn. It's a, I think it's a 10 by 10, so it's one of those odd frames. I'm not sure where I can find one of them at. It's roughly the size of the Johanna Basford books, like Secret Garden, Enchanted Forest, or your Kirby Rosanna's books. It's that size. So, like, it fits on top of the cover perfectly. So, I think those are 10 by 10s, if I'm not mistaken. I'm just going to cover up some of the sticky so my hand don't get in there. While I paint this side. Normally, and this time I'm surprised I started at the left hand side. Because normally when I, st I start at the right and go left. But today I'm doing left and going right. I don't know why that is. But I think the reason I go from right to left is because when I'm doing it this way. My hand isn't laying in the sticky stuff. 
that's just laying on the beads. I call them beads. Some people call them drills. Some people call them diamonds. I just love the beads. They look like little beads to me. So as you can see, that's kind of what's going on, how they, how it starts forming. And when there's a whole lot done, it really is just pretty. It really is. They really are pretty. So let me show you. I can actually show you the unicorn one I've done. It's sitting here beside me. Let me just move some stuff out of the way. Uh, this unicorn one, let me zoom out so you can see it. And there you can see how that is but this is the unicorn one and I just oh I love it um it's got rhinestones on it and you can see look at that oh gorgeous it's got like little shiny heart bits on it and it's little stars that shine and just oh this one is gorgeous so i absolutely love this i definitely want to get a frame and like i said i think it's a 10 by 10 so you can see it's like a johanna basford book and it is just so pretty i really love the way that turned out and i got this on amazon this one it was only like five six ninety nine something like that wasn't very much so love the way that one turned out Alrighty, back to this this thing here our little, uh, I don't think I'll zoom in too much because I think you can see now kind of what I'm doing. That way I can kind of keep, I'll zoom in a little though, about like that. So we can kind of see what's going on. Sorry if there's a glare, but I have to have both lights on or the glare is even worse. But you can see, kind of get the gist of how to do these. If you've been curious, uh, someone did ask me that's not on my, that doesn't color. She's just a, a friend of mine. She asked me if these were hard to do. And I was like, no, no, they're really simple. They're just a little time consuming. They're not hard to do at all. Like they're real simple. If you can pick out letters and you can move your hands pretty well, you can diamond paint. I think everybody can diamond paint. It's a really good hobby. Um, maybe if you have an, a bad hand day and you can't really press down to color a lot this doesn't take any pressure you just pick them up and this is stuff is really sticky so you don't have to really like uh, and you know like beat the diamonds onto the canvas it's uh it's really easy to do and doesn't really make your hands hurt unless you are sitting at an uncomfortable angle and sometimes I'm sitting at funky angles trying to trying to get comfy to do it it's like diamond painting is like reading you can't get in a comfortable position to do it no matter what you do <laughs> when I read a book I'm all over the house I'm on the bed I'm in the chair I'm on my stomach I'm on my back I'm sitting cross-legged I'm doing all all kinds of stuff trying to read a book so um, I don't know if anybody else is like that but that is definitely the way I am so I'm gonna get another sip of my Bright. Mm. Uh, nice cold stuff. I wish this would be flatter than what it is. I mean, it, they flatten out as you work on them, but sometimes they kind of bunch up a little bit. So definitely loving this craft. This is something I've been loving um, since I really got into it with the trees. And it started with the trees. And once I finally got into it, it I was not going to lie, I wasn't into it at first. I was seeing them and thought they were really pretty. But the tree one was very intimidating. And I'll have to show that one to you. Uh, maybe I'll insert a picture at the end of this video of that tree so you can see what I mean. But it was just a little bit on the intimidating side. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it. There was a lot. It was just really overwhelming to look at at first. But it's a 16 by 20, by the way. The tree is a 16 by 20. That's with the white cut off at the 16 by 20. So it was pretty good sized. Um, and yeah, but after I started doing it more and then I really got into it, really found it relaxing. There's something on the canvas there I was trying to get off. Um, 
I really it started going a lot faster and um, I really enjoyed seeing the picture come together and all of the colors and so yeah I just like I said I really got into it after that so I just took it I kept at it and then I really have been enjoying doing these so if at first you don't like it keep with it for a little bit and you may end up really loving it like I did or you may end up just really hating it and that's totally okay but I would say at first just keep keep up with it and maybe just finish one that you start and then if you don't like it after you finish then you don't ever have to do another one but I would just try to finish the one you did because you will have a really piece of pretty piece of artwork when you're done now one thing I can say about some of these diamond paintings that I have seen on like AliExpress and even some on Amazon or where whoever's making them has made some with pictures that people have colored I was like I recognize that picture uh, but somebody's colored it so um, if that doesn't bother you to buy one like that and do it that's your prerogative but me personally, I wouldn't do it. But if that's what you want to do, hey, that's fine. You can do whatever you want. It's your money. You can spend it however you want. So, but a lot of these, you got to think, are going to be artwork that, you know, is probably stolen. It probably is. This one probably is too. Um, but I don't know. I don't know because I think most, most if not all, of the ones that you buy online. Now, I don't know for sure. But I think most, if not all, that you buy online are made by um, uh, sellers overseas. So, and their copyright laws are not the same as ours here. So, they can uh, do that, do such things. So, anyway, nah, let's, let's get off that subject anyhow. But they do make, and I want to do a custom, like I want to make a custom diamond painting. I want to do one, I think, of me and my husband on our wedding day. I think that would make a gorgeous diamond painting, but I'd have to get a pretty good sized one so it's not pixelated. And I kind of really want to do that. I want to make a custom diamond painting, and I want to do one of my sweet little mocha. Because I've got some really good pictures of her that would make a really cute diamond painting, I think. So once we get back on our feet and things are a little bit back to normal, I'm going to look into doing some custom diamond paintings because I think they would be really pretty done and they'd be personal and I could even do some for um, Christmas and birthday gifts like custom ones. So I think that would be cool. I'll set something heavy, something heavy over here to hold that down. It keeps trying to fluff up on me. And I just give this a shake every once in a while to get the um, diamonds in the right position. Now I see some people do it like all their diamonds turn the right way and I'm like, how? What is the sorcery? How do you do that? So as you can see, that little bit of wax that I did at the beginning of this video really um, it goes a long way. This wax goes a long way. So you don't have to worry thinking that you're going to run out of wax. You won't. So I've been using this same piece of wax for eight, nine months, ten months now for all of my pictures and it, like I said, this little square can go forever. And with each diamond painting kit you get, you always get one of these pins, some wax, and a boat. So if you start doing this and you start buying more and more and more, you're going to have a lot of the same supplies pile up. So. I recommend getting a little box like mine and just keeping them in. Or maybe get fancy and make your own little diamond painting pin. I saw some really pretty ones on AliExpress, but I can't order from AliExpress. I mean, when I have money, because it's a Chinese um, website pretty much, and my bank does not allow me to buy things overseas out of America online it'll lock my card up and the only way I can do it is if I call the bank get it unlocked and they only unlock it for a short amount of time then I gotta call them back tell them I'm done and then they do something else to lock it back and I don't know it's a hassle 
Like, I know they do it for protection, but it's, like, seriously a hassle. And I learned this the hard way because I didn't know that that's what they do. And, um, how did I learn? I learned it back when it was our wedding and I was trying to buy my, buy something. I think it was my wedding dress. Yeah, it was my wedding dress because I got it from a Chinese site. I forget which one it is now. But my dress was super cheap on there and it was super gorgeous. So I went to order it and then it said transaction failed. And then I couldn't use my, um, couldn't use my bank card anywhere it was locked up. So I called the bank and they said this, that's what happened. And I was like, oh, well, who? So, but I did, I did get my dress, but it was just, it's a hassle. So I don't even try and bother, um, ordering anymore. Uh, I tried a gift card, like a, a Visa gift card on there that had some left over on one. And so I tried it the other day on just some super cheap items and it wouldn't let me use that either. So I don't know what I'm doing, why it's not working, but it just, it won't work. So, which is a real bummer because there's a ton of stuff on AliExpress I like. I've been going through that. I'm like, oh, I love it, but it just, it wouldn't accept my... A Visa gift card for some reason and there was enough money on there so I don't know it just said transaction failed or couldn't complete or something like that and I was like man that's disappointing so, so I had a lot of stuff picked out ready to buy <laughs> but anyhow so I don't know like I said I don't know if I'm Oh, wow, that was really stuck right there for some reason. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. Or if they just don't accept. I don't know why they wouldn't accept a Visa gift card. Everywhere else does. But, you know, uh, what do I know? Kind of sitting back out of the way popping these on. Because it's like really glary right there. Uh-oh. Yeah, get over there. So you can see that this isn't a super fast craft. Um, or it's not for me. Maybe some people are like really fast at doing these, but I'm not. I just take the time, you know. And this is about the pace I go when I'm by myself watching TV or um, listening to music or whatever it is I'm doing. This is the pace I go and Actually, it's slower because I get distracted by what's on TV or what the video is or whatever. But uh, You can't expect to just hop on and get half of this done in an hour or a couple of hours. Unless you're like Speed Demon or something. I think even with the multi-tip pins that I wouldn't uh, get it done super fast. A little bit faster than this, but it's not going to go crazy fast, you know? Um, get down there. Some people get creative when they're doing these and they do little patterns and little different things and I just kind of, I just go in rows I guess. Well, I'd, the last one I done and towards the end I started just doing something different. But mostly I just kind of stay, you know, until a spot where all of my colors are done in the same. So I'm sorry if you find this boring, but hopefully you haven't. And hopefully if you, this is, diamond painting is something that you've been wondering about. This kind of helps push it in the right direction. So there's all of the uh, R's on this side. So what I typically do then is once I see all of them right there, I'm going to go through here and I think that's actually all of them on the canvas. Sometimes I miss them and have to go back and put them in, but I'm just going to go through and look at these other blues and the next one is a little X, which is number 11. So I think I've got all of the R's done. So I'll zoom out a bit and... Yeah, that's all of the R. So what I'll do is I just take the, my boat and my cup and I dump them back in there. 
and I'll set it aside in my basket, which I threw in the floor. Um, I'll put it in the basket and then it'll be there for when I need it if I find one that I missed. So let's go to another color and we have X and D so it's just whichever D is number 16 which is probably at the bottom of the pile. There it is. So here's 16. So we'll do a few of these and then I'll call it good for today. So hopefully if you have been thinking about diamond painting, this will uh, push you in the right direction. Like I said, I really enjoy it. Like I really super enjoy it. So I'll just sprinkle out some of them. And I set the cup aside so I know that's the one I'm working on. Give it a shake. I'll zoom back in a bit. Come up here, peel our plastic back once again. Why is it sticking so bad on here? Mm. It wasn't sticking like that. It's sticking pretty good now. Is this on backwards? No, it's just really stuck. Okay, that's strange. All right, so be careful. A lot of people put parchment. I might have to buy some parchment paper or wax paper or something and put on here because that this plastic sticking like bad okay so we'll do a few d's and there's like a glare what if i turn this off is that better or worse mm. it's about about the same isn't it let's see oh let me now this wasn't stuck like that mm. The rest of it's peeling okay. I don't know what's going on there. Strange. Alrighty. <laughs> Haven't run into that. So let me turn my light back on. The glare is so bad. I'm so sorry. That's why I think I might need to invest in a light pad if I'm going to do videos of diamond painting. Okay. So we'll do a few of the D's and then call it good so you can see what we have done. And this is number 16, which the symbol is D. See, this is confusing. Anyway. <laughs> I'll just stick those on there. Again, I apologize for glare. It's hard to... Because even when the plastic is peeled off, the shiny stuff on the canvas makes a glare. Or the sticky stuff, not the shiny stuff. The sticky stuff on the canvas glares pretty good. But I still haven't figured out why my plastic is... See, it's peeling okay over here. Then it gets really hard to pull on this side. That's strange. I haven't run into that problem before. Unless it was on backwards. I have run into I put the plastic on backwards on one of my diamond paintings and it sticks really bad like that. Now see, it's not, I don't know. So I'm just going to pull it back like that and um, work on some of these over here and hopefully it doesn't stick like that no more. I probably will, but... Now, obviously, I'm going to work on this off camera because I'm not going to do it all on camera. I might do another video in a few days of it on camera, maybe. I'll think about it. It'll probably be a speed one, though. Because, yeah, because I don't really have too much else to talk about, <laughs> honestly. I told you all that I wanted what I wanted to tell you so and again I hope you're all doing well and that everything is going good for you and that you're having a good summer and hopefully you're not melting I'm melting and if you're melting we can just be big puddles of goo together because that's what I feel like I feel like I'm just one big tub of goo I'm gonna turn that off yeah, that's, that's going to be better. I'll turn it on. And actually, you know what? I can see this better without that. There just might be a shadow. 
lighting the bane of all YouTubers existence lighting 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 kind of wish my desk was like in the uh, window if it was in the window then you could really the natural lighting is best um, for this but I'm not in the window so we have to deal with what we got gonna do a little bit more of these this pretty light blue well I don't want to spill my beads everywhere done that a few times not gonna lie At least when I've spilt my beads, it's been in a spot. Ooh, it's going to make me mad sticking like that. Mm. Oh, I don't know why it's doing that. I've never had a canvas where the plastic stuck like that. Okay. Anyhow, I think I'm going to stop right there. You can kind of see... We may call this intro to diamond painting, diamond painting 101, I don't know. But uh, so yeah, so I'm going to stop there on camera for today. I'm going to work on this um, while this video gets ready to upload. But I'm just going to pick this up and you can see those beads on there. And I love to feel them, like when they're on, I love to rub my hands over the beads. So look, you can see how shiny it is. So yeah, so there is the start to that one. I know it doesn't look like I got a lot done, but I did, promise. Um, yeah, so I might work on this again in a few days. I don't know. Maybe later this evening I can do like a speed one. We'll see, but I'm going to work on this off camera as well. So I hope, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and I am happy to do one. I haven't done a video in a while, so I hope you enjoyed it. Um... So yeah, if you did, please give me a thumbs up and down in the comments. Let me know how you've been doing. And if you enjoy diamond painting as much as I do, I hope you do. Or if you uh, plan on trying it soon. So yeah, uh, with that, I'm going to go ahead and go and get this video ready to be uploaded and work on this some more. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And until next time, happy coloring or diamond painting. Goodbye, love bugs.